All right, we're back again. Edwin Anthony here from Resolutions Design, coming back at you with another video on this crazy looking screen. I promise guys, I'm changing my screen so you guys could see better because I know this wide screen is just not doing it. Anyways, uh, what are we here for? We're here to talk about everything Shopify. So if you like topics that are related to Shopify, you came to the right place. And uh, today, what we're gonna talk about is rewind and why it's important. First, let's talk about the problem. And also, please, I, my hair is crazy. Barbers in Orlando suck. Uh, at least I haven't found the right one. But the purpose that we're here is to talk about solving a problem. Um, rather, if it's you hiring a Shopify developer on a website that you have a lot of things already going on, right? So let's say, for example, you have a lot of collections, a lot of products, you have a theme set up, you have your pages set up, and you're hiring a developer that you don't know of and you're not sure what things they're gonna move around that potentially could just destroy the company in a sense that it's like, well, it was working at one point and I hired the wrong person because of low budget and next thing you know, now my store is looking like crap, right? It's looking horribly. Well, this is the master undo button. It's It gets you back towards where you need it to be. And again, the company is called Rewind. And so the folks at Rewind, you know, there was, I've heard about them a while ago. Uh, they've been doing business for quite some time and their website looks amazing now. So this business um, has done business with obviously tons of other companies and check out the website whenever you have a time, you know, go to rewind.com and really educate yourself. Uh, but right here, as you could see, just taking a look at the back end, we've already installed it to one of our clients. Uh, amazing name, right? Hot Chocolate Balls, right? Shout out to those guys. Hey, also special shout out to Suhei. Suhei, if you're watching, what's up? So she went ahead and she hired us very recently and we're going to definitely make her money. That's all I could say. So um, yeah, shout out to Suhei. Uh, so Hot Chocolate Balls, we went ahead and we installed it and I want to kind of show you what the interface looks like on the back end. The moment that you do install it, by the way, guys, links at the bottom, it's on the description, or I'll go ahead and I'll pin it at the top so you guys could uh, go ahead and easily select that and get that installed. And that's how you support the channel. Also, don't forget, smash that like button, make it blue, because it disrespected me and it's always black. Nothing against black. I'm just saying, like, smash it, devour it so that it's blue, and also please subscribe and turn on that notification. Anyways, so, as you can see right here, uh, we have, once you install it, you'll see on the upper right hand corner, we'll say it's currently backing up and it just backs up everything, right? We're not just talking about the theme. You know how like when you go to the theme customizer, you could create a backup. I'm not just talking about that. Uh, and I'm not just talking about, you know, export to CSV. Nah, we're not doing none of that. Uh, this is everything, right? So you could see that there's timestamps, you could see the different versions. If you click on this, you get to see the different versions. And also, if we go to Advanced Restore, you get to see the unique items that you could actually revert back to, right? So it could be like if you lost a blog, uh, if there was a specific collection that was once there once upon a time ago, uh, certain customers that got deleted by accident, uh, pages that perhaps didn't work at some point, you hired somebody, they came in, they restructurized the page or they created a new one. And guess what they did to the old page? They got rid of it. And you're just like, wait a second, this new stuff that this new developer came in and developed for me is not working. And I fired him and he left and my old page used to work. And where is it? It's gone, done, no. The technology is very impressive because obviously they use some type of an external server in order to copy all that stuff, right? So they copy all that stuff. So think of it as an external server that's just copying all this. And when you revert back, it just brings it all back for you. So others, products, how many of us here watching this video has by accidentally erased products? I've heard this a whole bunch of times from my clients where there's a certain amount of products that they used to sell and look what happens, that they delete the products because they find out from their vendor that the vendor or supplier is not selling it anymore. And because of that, then they're just like, okay, I'm not selling anymore, it's done. Six months later, the supplier comes back saying, hey, we're now reselling this. And you're like, oh, smack, I have to now build all of those products again, maybe more than 20, because I thought that we weren't selling it anymore. You don't have to worry about that. Rewind, you could recuperate all that stuff. You could bring it back 
into your system. Uh, product images. Maybe there were old product images that you had installed once upon a time ago. And for whatever reason, it got deleted. Well, here you go. You could go ahead and do that. Smart collections. Well, what's the difference between smart collections and then just the custom collections? Well, the smart collections are using the tag feature or conditions. And I think I have a video that talks about that. Uh, and you could go ahead and look at the library where I talk about how to create a collection. It's like a part one, part two, part three series. Uh, the way that we like to build collections is by eliminating human error. Uh, that means that we create a collection based off tags. So you go inside the product, right? You create the product, but on the sidebar, on the right-hand side, you'll see where it says tags. We will go ahead and type in the tag name that matches the collection title that it is. So let's say, for example, if it's a t-shirt collection, we'll type in on that area as a tag t-shirt. That way, when we create a collection, we'll say create an automatic collection that looks for all products that have the tag called t-shirt. And then just, it just all assembles it and it's nice and ready. That's better than actually creating a collection uh, manually where you create a collection and you just manually add the products. It's so time consuming. Imagine if you have a thousand products and you have to do that. That is horrible. So again, custom collection and then smart collection, two different things. This backs up both of them. And then finally, we have themes. Well, again, you might raise the question, well, why do I need this if on Shopify I could create theme backups? Technically, you can. However, remember, you have a limit on Shopify, meaning that add a whole bunch of themes on the backup and you'll notice that Shopify is going to tell you, hey, you've overpassed the amount of themes that you could save. I think it's like 10 or 20. Uh, for those who know, go ahead and comment down and let me know what is that limit if you guys know. But typically there is a limit and then you're just like, ah, uh, let me go ahead and delete the old stuff from way at the bottom so that I could fit the new theme. Not with Rewind. With Rewind, go to town, start downloading, start doing whatever, because this will definitely save as a backup. So same thing goes, if you want to go to a point in time where your website used to work, almost think of it like a time machine. And with this, this time machine, as you could see, uh, you could select the date of it going backwards or whatnot. But I will tell you this so that you guys don't get confused, okay? If we're going to use this time machine and you install it, let's say today, today is October 4th, 2021. You can't go back in time to like January before you installed it. You see, because the reason is that it starts recording from the moment that you actually add it into the system, right? Um, and moving forward. Okay, so that's why I say if you're starting up your store, right, and you feel that you don't have a lot of stuff in there, think about this question for a second. How long do you plan to be in business for? For as long as possible, right? Well, let's pretend that you've done very well and you've been in business for five years. If you install Rewind in the middle of that, then every historical stuff from the point that you install Re Rewind and before to when you started the business, you have no backups out of any of that. You cannot see anything, right? Because perhaps it's been deleted, it's old news, it's all that stuff, right? So I'd say that the best recommended time to get this installed is definitely throughout the inception. I wanna say when you're very close to going live. In fact, probably when you go live, right? So if you're still building out your website, don't feel pressure to get this on board. Get this on board when you're about to go live, when you press the live button, get it installed, right? Write a reminder somewhere, do whatever it is that you feel that's right, but get it installed because you don't know what's going to happen between now and a year from now. You could predict where you're going to be in the business, but what you can't predict are is the market. You can't predict like, okay, today you have a hundred products. You can't predict next year if you're going to have 500. You just don't know because something is going to happen between now and then and that's why it's important to get it installed as early as possible. So how much does this cost? Well, it depends on how many orders you process in a day. So let's take a look at their pricing sheet. And as you can see right here, we have backups. Oh, look, they also do copy. Let's see, what's this? Ah, okay. So uh -huh, pay as you go. Uh -huh, okay. Da -da -da -da. All right. Yeah, so copy probably means that, you know, you're going to migrate from one store to another. But backups is where it's at, right? And you could see all of the platforms that it does support. Uh, Shopify is going to be the leader here. And to be on the safe side, I would put it somewhere around 200 if you're just starting off, right? Now, 200, you might think that that's a bit aggressive. 
and 200 you'll put you at two, uh, $40 a month, which you might be like, well, I'm not ready for that. If you're not ready for that, that's fine. Put it under 200 Put it like at 195 right there. Nice $9 a month. That's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I say 200 because 200 typically, if you're actually doing marketing, uh, seriously, not that you're trying to figure out marketing. You're not trying to figure it out. You actually paying a professional for it. And if you guys need one, I'm right here. Okay. So anywho, if you're paying for marketing, you know that there's going to be traffic coming into your website. You know that there's going to be orders coming in. And because of that, that's why you want to take it at least to a cap of 200. But don't forcefully feel that you must choose 200 orders. 195 is fine because it's very close to the 200. You're only five shy away and you're still at the nine bucks a month. Of course, after you surpass that amount, it'll automatically go ahead and do that next level stuff, which by then, you you know, it paid itself off. You'll be like, you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, but anyways, just to wrap this whole thing up, Rewind, definitely a great app. We definitely add it into our companies or our clients' accounts. As you can see right here, we're doing that for this uh, client that they're launching pretty soon. And we're sharing this with you because this is a tactic that our agency practices with our client. We want you to also benefit from this because things happen. And what is it going to cost you? Suppose you lose a whole bunch of information and you've been pop pumping in a whole bunch of money with your business. Here comes somebody starts deleting things due to rage or whatever. And Shopify is like, sorry, we can't help you try it out delete let's see add 50 products delete it call shopify support and ask them to re to redo that to put it back watch what they tell you sorry we can't once it's deleted it's gone forever that's why this app is so important guys it's because of that it's because shopify is only so limited to help you out on the things they already offer a whole bunch of good stuff but they're limited and so if they're limited how much is that mistake going to cost you? So imagine you have your whole store up and running. It's producing, I don't know, let's just throw a number here. It's producing $50,000 every month. Here comes a new developer. They janky up the whole thing, right? Now your website's like, what, what's going on? How much does that cost you? It's going to cost you a lot of money. Try to figure out, oh, let's install all these products back in. It's over a thousand products. <laughs> The days go by, right? And you think 50,000 in a month, how much is that per day? That's how many days you're missing trying to recuperate. No, it's not worth it. And then you got to hire another developer on top of that so that he could recover or try to rebuild whatever it is that you lost. It's just not worth it, especially when you're on year two, year three in the business. That's why I strongly recommend you to go ahead and install Rewind because a lot of the customers, a lot of the customers that we work with are within that boundary. They're already making several thousands in a month, and it's just too much of a risk in order for someone to come in, mess things up, and then having to start all over again. It's horrible. So anyways, hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give that thumbs up. Let me know if you like this type of content so I could keep on creating. And also, I'm giving shout outs to customers that find me on YouTube. I can't believe you guys are finding me on YouTube. You're like, yo, I saw you on YouTube. Word. My hair was crazy that day. Look, because the barbers suck, you know, and all that stuff. You know, I'm just trying to make a good impression to you guys. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And if you want to see a video specific to something in Shopify that has been troubling you, I'm paying attention on the comments. I'm looking at it. And the more people talk about that one thing, I'm going to make a video. I'm not going to make you guys wait, but I need to see that you guys are interested. I need to see that you guys want to learn about something that you're really stuck on. That's what I'm here for. Okay. And it's obviously free of charge for you guys because YouTube is paying for it. Let's go. But wait, they're paying for it because you guys are smashing the like button. So please smash the like button, throw some comments, put a subscri uh, subscribe and that notification bell. And that way it's free for you guys. Anyways, talk to you soon.